everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the minimum of average total costs. I'm going to use a strategy where I use my marginal cost curve and I set my average total cost, that's ATC, equal to my marginal cost, that's MC. The reason why this strategy works is because marginal cost always intersects our average total cost at its minimum. So here's a standard representation of our marginal and average total cost curves. And you can see what I'm talking about. The marginal cost comes right through the bottom of average total costs. I do have a video that explains why this relationship holds. I'll link to it in the description and above. For our purposes, all we need to know is that this relationship is 100% solid. It absolutely always works. So if we had an example where, say, our total cost was equal to 6q squared plus 30q plus 150, we would find our average total costs and then our marginal costs first. So average total costs would be total cost divided by q. So that's going to be 6 times q squared plus 30q plus 150 all over q, which is equal to 6q plus 30 plus 150 over q. Our marginal cost is the derivative of our total cost with respect to q, which is 12q plus 30. So if you don't understand the derivative that I just took, I do have a video on taking derivatives and I'll link to that below. So to find where they intersect, we're going to make them equal to one another. So average total cost equal to marginal cost. Now this means that 6q plus 30 plus 150 over q, I'm just substituting here, is equal to 12q plus 30. That's the marginal cost, right? Now we're going to solve for q. We first take away 30 from both sides. Now let me just move the proof up here. Then we can take away 6q from both sides. On the left hand side we have 150 over q and on the right hand side we have 6q. We can multiply both sides by q to get 150 is equal to 6q squared. Then we can divide both sides by 6 to get 25 is equal to q squared. We can then take the square root and we get q is equal to plus or minus 5. Now in economics, we only take positive quantity or q variables as sensible. So uh, really we've just solved for the positive q is equal to 5. If we were going to draw out this example, the marginal cost curve, which is 12q plus 30, is actually a straight line with an intercept of 30 and a slope of 12. Our average total cost function actually does look like this and you can check on a graphics calculator if you really like. And what we've found is that the intersection here corresponds to q is equal to 5. That's the quantity that minimizes average total cost. I will say that it's very common to see examples and questions where we end up with a linear marginal cost curve just like this. And that's just because it's easy to compute. Okay, in order to find the level here, I can substitute Q is equal to five into either my marginal cost or my average total cost curves. It doesn't matter which one. Let's put it into marginal cost. So I'll get 12 times five plus 30, and that's all equal to 90. Visually, that looks like this. So that's how to find minimum average total costs, or at least one way to do it. We found our marginal cost and our average total cost curves. We set them equal to one another, and then we solve for quantity. We then substituted that quantity back into either marginal or average total costs, and we solved for the level. This trick will work for average variable cost too, because the marginal cost always intercepts average variable cost at its minimum as well. In the next video, I'm going to go through a different strategy of doing the same thing where we look at the first derivative. But that's it. I hope it helps. If it did, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys are having a lovely day or night.